teeth are a fish's main weapon. With their help, it can defend itself from enemies and hunt. Which fish can bite even steel objects in half? And most importantly, where does it live? Now you'll find it out. In this episode, I'll show you the fish with the sharpest teeth in the world, as well as other fish with interesting features and abilities. How do you picture the fish with the sharpest teeth? Would it have to be huge? Well, that's a good theory. However, in the animal world, you don't have to be large to have brutal bite force. And this is confirmed by the South American piranha. This particular fish has the sharpest teeth on the planet. What's more, it even has the most powerful bite of any fish. And when you say, what about sharks or at least catfish? Are they worse? Of course not. But in terms of the ratio of the size of the fish to the strength of the piranha's jaw, the piranha's unrivaled. Its teeth are sharpened like first-class samurai swords, and they're arranged in such a way that they close, leaving no gaps. Thanks to this combination of qualities, the piranha can bite literally anything in half, from a small twig that fell into the Amazon River to a can. Piranhas are also masters at nibbling meat. In just a couple of minutes, they'll leave nothing but bones from the body. Unlike most other fish, piranhas do not bite off the flesh roughly, but rather cut it surgically, all thanks to the structure of the teeth. It's this factor that gives the piranha a furious speed in destroying its prey. Fortunately, it won't eat a person like that. Contrary to myths and tales, piranhas don't kill people, but they can still be dangerous for us. At least a piranha can take a person for prey and bite them by the leg or arm, and it'll be very unpleasant. Now, this fish is deadly to humans. You have all recognized it. It is, of course, the great white shark, the most famous among all sharks on the planet. If the piranha has the sharpest teeth among all fish, the great white shark has the most powerful bite. Scientists believe that at the moment, literally a couple of creatures are ahead of the great white shark in this regard, the saltwater crocodile and the orca. But among fish, it has no equal. The bite force of this monster reaches 18,000 newtons. That's about 12 times the force of a human bite. However, humans do not have 300 teeth, unlike the great white shark. And they also do not have such a huge mass and so large mouth. Finally, we're not insane predators, unlike this shark, which is capable of gobbling up literally anything. At the same time, don't think that the great white shark is only thinking about eating humans or anyone else. It is, of course, extremely dangerous, but sometimes it will not lunge at a human. Some lucky people even manage to swim with it. We've done with the main toothy creatures, so now I say taking a look at other fish with their own unique and record-breaking features. Stay tuned to see fish with the most powerful venom, fish with unique eyesight, the most expensive fish on the planet, and many others. The most venomous. And let's start with the main toxic among fish. While some fish rely on the power of their teeth and jaws, others hope to kill their opponents with venom. The stonefish is the best at it. These fish camouflage themselves on the ocean floor by burrowing into the sand or hiding among the rocks. Either way, they're not easy to spot. It's on the sea floor that these fish wait for their prey, which cannot always see this master of camouflage. The same is true for humans. The stonefish will never attack a human first. People are not interesting to it in terms of prey. But if a person accidentally steps on it, they can be pricked by the spines of its dorsal fin. This is where the toxin is stored, which is considered the most powerful among all fish. These spines are very strong and sharp, so they can pierce even shoes. If deeply penetrated, such an injection can be fatal to a person if they do not receive medical attention within a few hours. If the prick is not deep, or if help is given in a timely manner, the survivor may be sick for months afterward, recovering from the effects of the encounter with this venomous beast. The Largest Fin The fin is almost the main organ of any fish. Movement, speed, hunting, and much more, everything depends on fins. And if there was an underwater competition among fish for the largest and most unusual fin, the prize would be taken by the thresher shark. Its dorsal fin is ordinary, as well as pelvic fins, but the caudal fin, it looks incredible. It's for this fin that the shark got its name. 
with its huge fin, the thresher shark indeed literally grinds its prey like a thresher. Seeing a school of fish, the thresher shark swims up to them, raises its fin and hits it like a whip, stunning the prey. It can do this several times in a row before it's sure that the fish are neutralized and the prey can be eaten safely. While the thresher shark has a very impressive caudal fin, the next fish has a very impressive dorsal fin. This is not a swordfish, as you might think, although it looks a lot like one. It's actually a sailfish, the fastest fish in the world. The fish got its name precisely for its dorsal fin, which resembles a sail. What's interesting is that just as regular sails help boats pick up speed and sail in the right direction, the sail of this sprinter helps it accelerate quickly. Sometimes the sailfish can swim at speeds of up to 68 miles per hour. This is a real live submarine. This speed is picked up not only with the help of the sail on the back, but also with the help of the special shape of the fish's face. Overgrowths on the upper and lower jaw create turbulence, which reduces water resistance. In addition, the tail of the sailfish also creates turbulence due to the high frequency and small amplitude of the flapping, which gives even greater boost. It's worth saying that the sailfish belongs to the marlins family, and they're all quite fast. It's among the marlins that you would look for another flash from the underwater world. I'm talking about the black marlin. It can swim at a speed of 53 miles per hour. Yes, it's slower than the sailfish, but it has better stamina. The sailfish is cool at short distances, at acceleration, but the black marlin can swim at the same speed for a long time. This helps it easily exhaust its prey. Fish with unusual eyes. The fish you see may seem like some kind of Chernobyl mutant or a creature that's been artificially bred in a laboratory, but it's nothing like that. It's a four-eyed fish and it's natural. The fish got its name because of the unique structure of its eyes. Its eyes resemble the eyes of a frog. Plus, the pupil is divided into parts by horizontal webbing. The eyes are located on the top of its head and when the fish swims, one part of the eye is above the surface of the water and the other part is underwater. It turns out that there are actually two eyes, but in fact, there are four of them. This interesting feature of the eye structure allows the fish to hunt various insects above the water and at the same time monitor the situation underwater. That's a good cheat code. By the way, four-eyed fish is the only vertebrate that can simultaneously see underwater and above water. The most expensive. Have you ever wondered what the most expensive fish in the world is? Maybe it's some kind of goldfish or a fish that's eaten as a delicacy? I think that's what a lot of people would think, hmm. but it turns out that the most expensive fish is tuna. But of course, it's not the canned tuna sold in any store. It's the giant bluefin tuna. These are huge fish, which from afar can easily be mistaken for a shark because they're not inferior to it in terms of size. Some individuals weigh more than 1,300 pounds and grow up to almost 16 feet in length. One of these huge fish was bought by Kiyoshi Kimura, the manager of a large chain of Japanese sushi restaurants in 2020. It's hard to believe, but he made $1.8 million for a fish, though it was gigantic. And it's not even a record. The record was set by Kimura too, the year before. In 2019, he bought a bluefin tuna weighing 613 pounds for $3.1 million. The Japanese shared this tuna with guests of the restaurant he runs. But why are bluefin tuna so expensive in the first place? What's the catch? The fact that the bluefin tuna meat is considered incredibly tasty and specific for which it's valued by gourmets. And you have to pay for the size. A fish weighing several hundred kilograms cannot be cheap. Take a look at this fish. It looks pretty ordinary, doesn't it? It doesn't stand out for anything special and looks like the most typical fish in the world, except it is special. It's the rarest fish in the world. It's called the devil's hole pupfish. The habitat of the fish is unrealistically small. In nature, these creatures swim only in a tiny cave lake measuring 16 by 10 by 11 feet. The cave lake is located in Death Valley where you can literally be roasted alive. The water in this cave lake is also not the coolest. The temperature sometimes reaches 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Devil's Hole pupfish are already surviving as best they can in such tough conditions, but they're facing more and more challenges. 
Local residents often use the water from the lake for household needs, which causes the water level to constantly drop. As a result, the Devil's Hole pupfish has entered the Guinness Book of World Records as the most endangered fish species and is now on the verge of extinction. That's all, guys. Which fish impressed you the most? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you later.